Hey everybody, my name is Wellens and welcome to a first look of Guardians of the Galaxy today. I didn't really have plans on playing this game, but then it came out and the reviews look pretty good, so I thought, well, hey, maybe it's worth taking a look at after all. And so here we are. Thank you to Square Enix for sending me a copy of the game. I'm probably in the minority here, but I haven't watched the movies or read any of the comics, so I don't know anything about this world, except for there's a group of people in space and uh, Groot. I am Groot. That's literally all I know. <laughs> So, um, yeah, maybe we can even use this video as a measure to see if it makes sense, if the story makes sense to someone who doesn't know anything about this franchise to begin with. And feel free to let me know anything that you feel like would be helpful for me to understand this world. And uh, we should probably just get going. Oh, I'm like a rocker boy. This is the song we're listening to? Yeah, yeah, the first verse there. Zero to hero. Star-Lord. A band I like? The Rolling Stone interview, Star-Lord, achieve escape velocity. Two years ago, Star-Lord were touring in the Chevy Echoline van. Four musicians, one faithful road manager, a husky named Coda, and a whole lot of equipment crammed into one vehicle as they drove up and down the west coast over and over. Until finally, the engine caught fire. <laughs> oh, I must be like a mega fan or something then. I've got all this stuff here. Three and a half stars, for the record. Screw them. This is probably the best record ever. <laughs> Is that your new tape? Tape. Star Lord. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space <laughs> rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out. Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma. <laughs> what? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm -hmm. Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and- You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. <laughs> if you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy, it's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot, I will. He doesn't even, never mind. <laughs> 13 whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Hmm. 
Well, judging my mom in the tape and the far out stuff, this is from a while ago, a few decades back. Not exactly present day. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the mullet. Hey, what happened to your eye? You get in a fight? That's not good. Hope mom wasn't joking about seeing Star Lord. Yeah, if they ever decide to play out here in the boonies. In the boonies. Cool bed. The room's actually pretty damn big, isn't it? Oh man, traveling through space must be amazing. Oh, oh, okay. So it's like retro future, even though we're in I don't know the 70s or 80s or whatever, we can go to space. Okay. The final battle was awesome. Looked like the heroes were done for, but they pulled it off. The Lost Star Walker. Now I've got a lot of posters and just a bunch of stuff pasted everywhere. Oh man, I can't wait to play this. Maybe I can convince Annie to buy it with his paper out money. Video Game Power Super Mech 3 10 Takedown Tips Don't Miss Double Toads Ninja Combo 3 True Batter Speed Bots Baseball Blob. I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd, that's what I am. This will be worth hundreds of dollars someday. Oh, okay, Star Lord is also a comic? Well, it's, it's Marvel. Space Rider. Alright. Missouri? Is that where we are? I gotta beat Janie's high score. This is embarrassing. What even is this? What am I looking at here? Am I exposing my age? <laughs> Some kind of like a gaming thing? Three natural ones in a row last game. Some barn I turned out to be. Tabletop player? It's pretty crazy that all that destruction started from one little mistake. Fur things. Iron Maiden. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, even look at my vest. I'm like a huge Star Lord fan. Damn. Need to build up my calluses. Helheim's coils. Keep hitting those dingers, George. You'll make it in the Hall of Fame for sure. Ah! Uh, baseball cards? Oh. The movie was okay. The soundtrack really kicked butt. Nuke game. I've got a lot of, like, media interests. Skateboard. Electric guitar. Fingers are still cramped from trying to bookmark pages. I know it's not how you're supposed to play, but I'm tired of dying everywhere. Death Trap Dungeon, a thrilling fantasy adventure in which you are the hero, complete with combat system and score sheet. Like a rule book for the tabletop game? Hmm. Might as well just peel the stickers off and put them in the right spot. <laughs> That's called cheating. It's a nice place, we've got a nice place here. And I am 13 and young and... I like things. <laughs> the Space Shuttle Adventure, the exciting story of our next giant leap into space. Cool. Can't believe I caught this. That Maiden show was awesome. Iron Maiden? What is this? Oh, like a wristband or something? Oh. I'm a total nerd. Tron! Love to be able to ride one of those light cycles. Ooh. A world inside the computer where man has never been, never before now. Wow. Are these all real posters? I, like, I think the Tron one is real for sure, but then the other ones I'm not so sure about. Hmm. Whoa.
Peter Quill, Quill, Quill. Peter Quill, wake up. Holy crap, Drax. You gotta stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. Mm. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. We have a team of a lot of different people here. Did I name myself Star-Lord after the band? Yeah, yeah, I know. You're the you're the Chris Pratt guy. Yeah, but not his face. <laughs> the character. Peter Quill. Oh yeah, so cool. Ew. <laughs> Okay, you look great! You look great, my man! <laughs> that was just more about my childhood upbringing then. So, we're on a spaceship? Do we... we have a mission. Ew, god! Brush your teeth or something. This is nasty. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I have no idea what the world is like now, so I guess we're in space. But like what's the what's the factions in space and all that stuff? Are you done, dude? You've been looking for ages. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, okay, I was supposed to, like, go out myself. <laughs> oh, it ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. Hey, it's only illegal if Novacore finds us inside, which they won't. We are outlaws. Nervous, Rocket. Don't underestimate the Novacore. <laughs> Oh, come on. Am I the only one who ain't scared of the galactic police? They've got the numbers on us. But they ain't got the brains. Ha. Is that from my old room? Sure takes a genius to catch my ship. My ship? Who said that? Quill! No, I think I heard him. I'm here. Ah, oh, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confident. <laughs> Root and rocket. <laughs> Arrested? For what? <laughs> our ship just <laughs> accidentally slipped into the quarantine zone. Oops, our navigation malfunctioned. Oops. <sighs> How would we accidentally cross into the Novacore force field? Details! <laughs> We're doing something illegal here. Like what? Like to try to get money, basically? People, close the fridge! Oh my god, that's so much power going to waste. Oh. Oh my god. What am I even looking at? Whoa. Nice. Ah, this is the music. Oh no, I'm sorry. All the copyright music. Yeah, I actually did try playing a little bit with the music on, and then like, it was immediately blocked in the United States and all that. Peter Quill, we must soon discuss the status of my official team membership badge. Drax, once again, there is no official badge. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you would not have one, Assassin. The small one indicated the procedure is a well-guarded secret. 
Rocket, stop messing with him. We have a tight team here. We have Groot, Drax, Gamora, and Rocket. Is that it? Is there anybody I'm missing? Mm. This moment of quiet reminds me of the legendary siege of Seknoff 7. Oh, not again. It is said that Lady Hellbender held her breath <laughs> in ten moons while riding across the stars on the back of a great horned beast. <gasps> and when she when arrived... she arrived, she exhaled, and the wind blew away the Shatari. Indeed. It did. If he realized it didn't make no sense, he wouldn't be telling it. <laughs> hey, man. Nice gizmos, Rocket. I'm calling them thumpers on account of the noise they make. Assuming we get past the force field and reach your coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up, and these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time. How's that even gonna work? The thumper goes beep, 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 and the monsters come running? Eh, it goes more like, uh, wah, wah, wah! Hey, holla, rocket! Stop this <laughs> ruckus at once! <laughs> and then the monster comes a running out of its hole. Are you sure about that? Hey, all my intel came from your source. My sources are very reliable. Those coordinates are 100% pointing towards a rare, elusive, priceless creature. With no physical description to go by. What do you think elusive means? It don't matter what the monster looks like. As long as it's got ears, you can be sure my thumpers are gonna drive it right into our arms. Okay, so our mission is to look for a creature that we don't know anything about. Alright, sounds interesting. And this is never gonna... Oh, it's still shut, surprisingly. Huh. Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord, alright. Drax, the Destroyer. Gamora, deadliest woman in the galaxy. She looks hot. Rocket, definitely not a raccoon. Oh, okay. Groot, the last Flora Colossi. Yeah, we are all people from different places. I'm the only human here. I don't know how I ended up here, but we're here. Dear Diary, the same dream again. Need to lay off the Choga dogs or get a better alarm clock than Drax's face. But I'll sleep like a baby tonight. It's payday. No more wild goose chases or babysitting slug princesses. Time to make us some real money. So that's just basically our goal here. We just want to make money. That's pretty much it. We're doing a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Okay. The Guardians of the Galaxy. The Guardians of the Galaxy are registered as legally incorporated heroes for hire, under permit blah blah blah, although their record has yet to include anything fitting that description. They appear to be primarily mercenaries, accepting low-paying bottom-tier jobs from the Bagoo Bounty Hunter Board, with an astonishingly low success rate. <laughs> In fact, users of the board now use GOTG as a term for contract failure. Example, whoops, I GOTG'd that job. The most notable Guardians include Gamora Zen Wuberi, daughter of Thanos. Oh, and Drax the Destroyer, Slayer of Thanos. Oh, okay, so that's why they're kind of like enemies. Their captain, Star-Lord, is a former Ravager pirate and conman who listed the Milano M-Class Ravager scout vessel as a group space of operations. They also harbor Rocket, a deadly and wildly unpredictable experimental Kree bioweapon, and a violent flora colossus named Groot. Okay. I didn't know anything in there, so that's how much I know about Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy. <laughs> Oh yeah, you remember that dealer who asked about the emitters? After you left, he... <laughs> he leans over me, and he says, Uh, w w what do you need these for, then? I am Groot. <laughs> yeah, like I'm turning the Milano into a dance club or something. Please Milano. Please refrain from creating this club of dance. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we all know how you feel about dancing. I am Groot. Well, what was I supposed to tell him? Uh, you know, I uh, need them to build uh, some ultrasonic lures so my team of ex-cons can trap a mystery creature in the oh. most illegal place in the quadrant. You want to throw in a discount? <laughs> Everybody's rooms is in this little central hub here. I wonder if Drax was allowed to decorate his cell in the kiln. Probably not. Oh, wow. I imagine movie watchers all know this stuff already and I'm like the only one in the dark. Not so sure about tooth cleaning tablets. Manual brushing is where it's at. Ooh.
Nope. Hey. Up here, Peter. Yup. Hey, that's my chair. Oh. Then why aren't you in it? I was uh strategizing. Ah. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, <laughs> if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. No, I want to look around a little bit more, if that's okay. What the hell are we even looking at there? What even is that? My god. Once we've reached that force field, there's no going back. Your black market codes are gonna crack that Nova net, right? Yep. As soon as you enter them in your console. Nova net. Nothing will go wrong. Absolutely nothing. Guys! Our great leader ran away. Could you send him back? Peter Quill! The murderer still calls your name. Oh, sounds kinky! Uh, nope. Oh. <laughs> Wow, I mean, our place is kind of nice here, but it's a little bit cramped for this many people. <laughs> Everyone has a very strong personality, evidently. Drax! <laughs> About Gamora. Can this not wait, Peter Quill? I am readying my body for battle. Uh, <laughs> you know we're supposed to capture this monster, right? Not kill it? Of course. But I suspect it will not go down without a fight. Cool it, muscles. Lady Hellbender ain't gonna buy damaged goods. I will aim to preserve the integrity of the beast as best I can. Good. He's huge. Hi, Groot. I know the most about you, which is to say I know literally nothing besides your name. All good, buddy. Hi, I'm Groot. You know, I don't understand you, Groot, but I'm gonna assume you just said something super kind and thoughtful. <laughs> I am Groot. <laughs> what did the tree say? No idea. Is this your room? Groot really needs to get these plants under control. Whatever, it's his room. He gets to do whatever he wants. Okay. What, well, can I like crawl under or what? <laughs> oh, that's nice. Everyone gets their own little quarters here. Drax's quarters? Morgoth, be with you. Hey. Morgoth yourself! <laughs> Morgoth is a politeness thing. Catathian customs don't make no sense to me, bud. Catathian, did he say? Good old Milano. Engine parts from at least five different black markets. Wow. No, this is like the server room. What is it? Dude, take five. We gotta talk about that Gamora thing. She's waiting for you in the cockpit. I already checked in on her. You know you're not subtle with all that staring, right? Subtlety is neither my strength nor my intent. Look, I know you're mad about being on her team for the mission, but could you at least try to get along? I doubt I would succeed. Well, we're all stuck on the same ship. It would be more pleasant if we could all get along, right? But then again, I feel like that's... <laughs> All this bickering might sort of be the charm of this group here. Ha! Take a look oh. at this. I can jump. Had to use our last roto adhesive, but I finally got the shielding plates in place. These babies are going to be able to survive a full quantum blast or a space monster. I am good. Talking about the quarantine zone here. Quantum blasts are just as likely as monsters. Okay, well maybe let's get going then. We've been looking around. People are pretty dynamic. They walk all over the place. Ready now? Now? Now, now. If His Majesty will do us the honor of taking his throne. All right. I don't know. Maybe I want to look around a little bit more. Hmm. Beautiful. Okay. 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 Here we go. Rocket Groot Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. 
And if we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Novanet still up? I thought we were going in. Well, it appears the Assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor coats are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. Zero, four, five, one. That's <laughs> it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to integrate temporal coordinates and our ship's hard-coded serial into a local number generator. What? Info gets in, digits come out. Four of them. Yeah. 0451, of course, Ido's Montreal game. Are you having difficulties, Peter Quill? No. I just want to hear your dialogue. 0451. There. Finally. The quarantine zone. Somewhere in the Andromeda galaxy. And... We're in! Incredible. I never realized there was so much stuff left after the war. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacore had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Rodent. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overall. Plus, there's good money in it. The piece that we seek is far more valuable to the Monster Queen of Seknoff 9 than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. What is all that red stuff? I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <clears throat> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Groot, Quill, suit up. Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it, and my skin is not green. It's teal. <laughs> teal? What? <laughs> Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop site. The ground's too unstable to land a ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, Groot. <laughs> Don't worry. Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. All right. Thumper one, done. Is that like my oxygen mask? Is there oxygen here? Mora, take care of my baby. It's a ship, Peter, not a child. Oh, oh. <laughs> can you imagine? Hey, starboard, wrong way. You guys sure you don't need help? I am good. Yep, very sure. Focus on your own task. Yep. Being here definitely feels a little weird. Yo, Quill, these coordinates are so reliable. How come we're the only ones out here trying to catch this thing? I am cool. Nah, it's totally safe. Now, can we please focus less on the toxic goo and more on all this cool war junk it's holding together? I am cool. You find something we could sell? Nano Resin Incident Report Centurion Zarmus Vold. Centurion Kurdar has lost his arm to the nano resin, though accounts of this accident contradict each other. Kurdar maintains that the nano resin splashed him, instantly encasing him up to his elbow. However, his corpsmen have reported that he put his arm inside on a dare, directly violating safety measures and of course costing him said limb. 
The acidic compounds within the resin are designed to break down space-worthy metals, so we were not surprised to find it dissolving his arm within the span of a few microcycles. My recommendation? A refresher course on safety protocols within the quarantine zone and a stern warning about pranks or bets during any Nova Corps mission. I do not advise punishment for a centurion Kurdar because his synthetic arm will serve as a constant reminder of his folly, no matter which story is true. Okay. Nah, just some old correspondence. You know how I like to brush up on galactic war history. Um, no? Don't think I've ever seen you read anything without pictures. I read plenty of non-picture stuff. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Oh. Huh. You okay, Quill? Yeah, I think so. This uh pink resin stuff's definitely strong enough to hold this place together. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely probably strong enough. It's beautiful. Like graphically, it's insane. I love how he was berating me for like going the long way here. <laughs> Subordination of the assassin has become insufferable. I'm doing exactly what we plan to do. She is also quite contrarian. We talked about this on the Milano, Drax. Come on, Quill. We still got three more thumpers to place. Second one's this way. I'm assuming you have a map or something? Map, map. I know how to navigate a scrap heap. Okay. Oh, I've got like a little After rocket. After we sell the monster, I say we head to nowhere. Do some gambling. I am good. <laughs> you. You can't bluff your way out of a planting pot. But then, neither can Drax. Taking his share will be easy. Gamora? Oh, we'll definitely have to watch out for her. Whoa. I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by... pink goo. Ebrium-based nano resin. Whatever. I'm just saying, it's a lot to take in. There's a weird face over there. Is that okay? We're just gonna ignore it? Alright. Just imagine what kind of blasters the Shatari had to use to wreck some of these frigates. Oh, look! Yellow and blue! Looks like an old Novacore frigate. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy! Why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so why here? You think it's to impress Gamora? Like, hey, flat broke, Rocket. We need a big break. Aren't you tired of eating Yarrow Root? It's so... mealy. Listen, this is a restricted <laughs> zone. Whatever monster lives here, nobody else has one. Lady Hellbender values rarity in her acquisitions. Exactly. Doesn't that mean, oh, I feel like that's going to be really dangerous, but, uh, okay. Whatever Lady Hellbender wants, she gets, I guess. As long as she's rich. I told you, we ain't gonna get caught. There's only like three ships left in the entire Nova. Nova Corps has more than three ships. Whoa! <laughs> okay. I'm okay. Ha! Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. Not funny. The war. You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us hanging out, just like when we started this gig, before you know who joined us. I, am I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Quill's a swell guy. I hope you get that promotion, Rocket. Come on, Rocket. Drax and Gamora are valued additions to the team. You're only saying that because she's listening. Is that why your plan has Drax and I taking the ship? Maybe. Hey, can't a guy want to spend some quality time with his friends? Yeah, but there are new friends. We're all friends now, and you don't want to be the guy that's like, first day in high school, being like, Oh, I really miss my elementary school friends who went to a different Everybody school. Everybody keep an eye out for any good scrap or components. I am good. I know the monster is the first priority. I'm just saying, if you see anything good along the way, pick it up. Got it. Whoa! Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Eh, uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Path's this way. Come on! How can you even tell? Just trust me, alright? Hey, group. You think we could find pieces of the Trion Shard in here? You never heard of the Trion Shard? Ugh. You happy, Quill? You <laughs> found the thing I told you was there, but you didn't listen. A dead end. <laughs> uh, the 
mythical void, Death's Black Terminal. That's it. Walk of shame. <sighs> Look at this. Of course he could know. I told him. Yeah, but look at all this stuff here. This seems like it's something. Outfit! I found an outfit! From the movie, I guess? Oh, yeah. Well, that was worth it after all. So far, so quiet. Do we expect any resistance here? Can I even defend myself? Pride and fall. I write this report so that the efforts and the courage of my people may echo throughout time. We have finally accomplished the unthinkable. After generations of war, we put aside our differences and united to achieve our dreams. I am dictating this message from the first interstellar Bildarian vessel, our pride, the Starboros. Everything we suspected was true. There are people out here, countless other worlds, some of them far more advanced and some of them struggling as we did. We were welcomed with open arms by a group calling themselves a Nova Corps. To our horror, we learn the galaxy itself is currently at war. Beildar is right in the path of the aggressors, a violent race called the Chitari. We requested aid from our new allies, but their rescue force will soon be intercepted by a much larger Chitari fleet. We have decided to rapidly burn our fuel reserves to reach the Chitari first. In our naivete, we do not have weapons on the Starburst, but she is fast and she is built strong. We will ram their capital ship. Perhaps we can save our new friends. Know this, for a brief incredible moment, Bildar found peace. We accomplished everything we set out to do. I pray our sacrifice will make a difference in our final hour. War. Chitari are the bad guys. Settle an argument, Rodent. What is this omnipresent pink substance made of? You done gloating? Oh, I am never done gloating. I am Groot. Yep. <laughs> Classic me. So what is it made of? It's resin. Yeah, I'm sure it's safe -ish. Safer than flying with Kimura anyway. I heard that. <laughs> There's a lot of banter here. Hey guys. <laughs> All good, no worries. But watch your step, guys. This junk isn't as stable as we think. Uh, that is one big mushroom. My uh, fungus, bacteria, mold, space gunk. You know, call it what you want. It's still in the way. Just gonna look around, because we can. Because I feel like there's definitely what? something here. Yeah, Ooh. look at that, look at that. Components for, like, upgrading weapons and stuff, I guess. Uh. All right. Yeah. Y'all waiting for me? I'm here. Take that brittle stuff. Good enough. Ugh. Ugh. Ship eating parasites. Looks like they've gross. <laughs> <laughs> nice bladder. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Okay, you're on. 50, right? I got Optimal you. The thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm, I'm thinking right in front through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. Uh, yeah, try not to think about it. It's better not to wonder what happened to anyone working on these old wrecks. It was a long time ago, anyways. Oh, God! Ah, amazing! I should have been recording. Bridge over, Groot. I want to see if he's alive. I am Groot. I don't know, but he's twitching. Flarkin, Scott Stain, Quill. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh, thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a crapped out Nova Corps missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. 
Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. Okay. What about the scoreboard? Yeah, we're okay. still crawling through creepy old ship. No big deal. Easy there, Quill. Pretty sure nothing's gonna jump out at you. Except maybe me and Groot. Well, don't do that, please. I hear the maggots. I hear them. I feel like there are some around here. Cause you know I'm I'm in this to win it. I gotta we gotta get going. How much of the war did you see, Rocket? Only the bits that happened as I was doing other jobs. Great thing about a war, nobody was paying much attention. Me and Groot could do pretty much whatever we wanted. You were a profiteer. I was making the best of a bad situation. I shot a thing. I get it. First tool in the old toolbox. <laughs> what? I'm just trying to get out of here, man. Huh? Ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, oh no. Guy. <laughs> oh! What? Aim, hold. Shoot. Whoa, what the fuck? You dead quill? We can hear your woodsy squeal even without the car. Little busy! <laughs> so just random alien creatures? Oh god, my god. Oh, Do we all get a you bigger guys should have seen that. It was this weird blobby thing. Oh, we don't know what it is. We've never Not seen it before. For this again. One last freaky eye thing! Oh god. Oh, I can just Stay back. slap it. Don't die. Will have my head. Are they all just gonna keep coming out, or like, oh my god? Yo, Quill, you all right? Peachy. There's Lights a lot out, of them coming boys. here. Bringing the pain. Everything okay over there? Quill nearly got himself eaten by a blob or something. Should have heard him squeal. You must fight with dignity, Peter Quill. Or at least die with it. <laughs> Not funny. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, I thought we knew them already, but no, those were just creepy green blobby things. All right. Hey, Drax, what makes you so sure this Hell Lady is gonna buy our monster? Her name is Lady Hellbender. And her collection of rare creatures is outdone only by the wealth she showers on those who procure them. If someone was paying top unit for weirdos, I'd know about it. She is an honorable warrior, not one of your back alley hooligans. Don't talk about no, I don't that way. <laughs> uh, Quill, we got a lot riding on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. I'm like you could even tell if she had an honest face. I'm I hope so too. Failed to send message. Got some real bad news for you, sis. Them critters you had me smuggle off, Kraken the second. You didn't tell me they bred like Signarfian mud hogs. I got a cargo bay full of the ugly flarkers, and they grew up fast. I can hear them banging on the walls and shrieking something fierce. Probably hungry. When I saw my fuel was leaking, I put two and two together and realized they're chewing up my fuel lines. To make it worse, I gotta fly right through a Nova Creeps blockade. I ain't got no way to hide them things, so I'm thinking about scuttling this old heap and taking my shuttle to nowhere. Oh, nowhere with a K. Expect the bill for a new ship soon and we can figure out our next haul. I know you're good for it. Ugh, what can I say? Scud happens. Yeah, she did smell like flowers. Too much. Probably the seduced starstruck over there. Trust in the plan, guys. Everything is checked out so far, right down to the mining ship. We put our thumpers in the right places, and we'll bag that monster. Uh, Quill knows all about putting thumpers in the right places. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Getting monsters in the sack too. <laughs> Just put down the thumpers and go. It'll be an easy job. Nothing can go wrong. Literally, nothing can go wrong. All right, even this part. <gasps> Mother of Scott, move! What? Are you kidding me? What the hell? Why is stuff moving suddenly? Son of a smack. That was too close. You okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all the time. 
Guardians mode one. All right, Groot. Let's see that cool vine. Oh, thing. Groot. That's one hell of a party trick, big guy. I can command my party members to help me do stuff. All right, cool. Hey, we're closer oh, to the face now. More ship eaters. Oh, they're everywhere. All right, back to business. Boom! Right under your nose, Quill. Dang it. We gotta get the live maggots for that to count. Do I look worried? The resin will hold. I am Groot. You ain't that heavy. What can you do? We gotta go that way, across the gap. Somehow. Groot, I found a hitch. Can you latch onto it? I'm Groot. Hey, Greenies. You see any blue and gold ships out there, you let us know. We have seen many such ships. He means active ones. We haven't talked about what to do if we run into a Nova Corps patrol. Uh, we'll restrain them until you're done here. Bad idea. Those cops are all connected through their stupid helmets. If you see cops, you get my ship out of here. Even if it means leaving us behind. Uh, flark that! Trust me, I've dealt with Nova Corps before. Even helped them catch real criminals. I can talk my way out. You think that Milano can outrun a fully powered Nova Centurion? She's done it before. Okay, this looks like a battle arena. Okay, here we go. All right, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No, no! Flark and Skaggy! Attack and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. Looks like this med kit is tuned to Cree biology. A shame we don't have any Cree on the team. You mean a blessing. Stop flarking around. Flarkin. So what do I gotta do to get a last name like Drax? Katathians have no need for surnames. Katathians. The destroyer. It is a moniker to mark the countless I slaughtered during a shameful period of untempered rage. Yeah, one of those. I could rocket the roof. Cause I'm pretty sure I ain't never had no roof. So you're all like nice and tempered now, Drax? Is that what's going on? I'm more interested in the scoreboard, to be honest. Like, I'm like, I don't want to lose. <laughs> Can I go in there? No. Well. We broke it. Yeah. All right. Get Rocket a charge battery. You told me to scan earlier. <laughs> hey! A huge power generator! How do we hook it up? We don't! That thing would toast our little thumper. Can't we condense the power through a routing funnel or something? Don't try to make up tech stuff. It's irritating. Find something else. The rocket is like the tech guy. What about this? Inverter generator? What about this? Found a compressor! No charge! Ah, uh, no charge. No good. Okay. Can you use this missile? Sure I can. To blow <laughs> us to pieces. Keep looking. Chitauri bomb. Thermonuclear bomb. Nicknamed Scarab by resistance forces. So, Drax. Nope. Oh. Chitauri pod. Yeah, I think it stopped because I was looking at the pod. Blink missiles, devastating experimental Kree projectiles. Gamora, when are you gonna share your contacts and sources? When will you share yours? What? You know about all my guys. Only that you've got a guy that makes the booms, you've got a guy who can reconstruct faces, you've got a guy who never says no. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I love that guy. And hey, it ain't my fault they ain't no good with names, but I can always place a face. Unless oh, it's gotta be. face guy gets a hold of them first. Ah, it's gotta be this. Yes, because I, I took away that thing earlier, the stuff that was on it. Found something with a charge. Kind of looks like a spacey car battery. Lucoid or Xenon cell? Uh, never mind. Let's try it. Bring it over to the middle here. Okay, this thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The Too chance late. is minuscule at best. You'll be fine. Already picked it up. 
Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So uh, watch my back. Oh, watch great. Okay. What? The little avocados. Rocket, help me scramble some critters. No, no, no Scott. If I don't rewire this fast, it's gonna short circuit. Rocket, Entangle. The last four are Colossus. Groot is a vigorous defender, able to withstand large, high amounts of damage. He focuses on crowd control and tangle, immobilize enemies in a small area. And now's my turn. Just kick them all. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, there's a purple one. Tie them down, Groot. How long does it take to shoot, Scott? I prefer Traxes in my method. Double tap to dodge. Bye bye, little guy. <laughs> Keep him away from that missile, Groot! Is the rodent procuring further armaments? Hurry up, Groot! Recharge or something. Oh my god! They are everywhere! Just keep swinging those branches! I'm trying! I'm trying! Keep these things away from me. <laughs> the runner is frightened by the Done. Minibugs. We're all plugged in. Wow, just in time. I'd oh. like to see you fix it next time. Come on, two down, two to go. Yeah, there's a bit of a combo system for the combat parts. I don't see any way out of the missile bay except that passage, bud. Quill, we found a way out. Okay. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? If the two of us gotta lug that monster all the way to Lady Hellbender? Guys, this job is a huge deal. It's for the freaking monster queen of Seknarf 9. She just doesn't know it yet. We pull this off and we're- Lady Hellbender's intergalactic monster anglers? I do prefer that name. But the acronym is unwieldy. No, we're still the guardians of the galaxy, but people will know that name means quality. We'll have clients competing to oh. hire us, people bigger than Lady Hellbender. Man, that thing is ridiculous. Think it was a ship or a robot? That's a Cree Century, a robot, but it would have been space worthy. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. How do you know all this? Because they were my fellow experiments back on Half-World. Most of my parts came from the cybernetics hangar next to the door, so uh, I got a sneak peek at all the new killbots. Half-World? I could see the parts come and go from my, uh, uh, my cage. I didn't mean to open old wounds. Eh. Most of them are just scars now, anyways. Your cage. I wasn't even a person to the worst of the Kree's mad scientists. More like a real smart walking gun. A very talkative gun. <laughs> yeah, that part was an accident. They tried to fix it a few times. I am Groot. The entire facility was the problem. I wish I got back and blown it up before the end of the war. Our whole team is like a bunch of ragtag, like, it feels like we're comedians or something, but I think it's more of a defense system, a defense mechanism for probably the hardships that we've been dealing with. What's over here? Ho! Oh! How do we know the monster we're looking for ain't one of these things we already killed? If it were worthy of Lady Hellbender's collection, it would not die so easily. Hope we know this thing when we see it and not after we stopped it. 
Yeah, hopefully... I, I don't know if I wish it's stompable or what. Like, if, if we killed it already, that would be bad. But if we didn't kill it and it's hard to kill, then that's kind of a problem, too. <laughs> what is your thing, Rocket? Rocket! Think you can hack that thing? Bring it closer? It's dead, Quill. Hey, when did you get some stuff? Your score is at five, when I wasn't looking. Groot, need you to shoot a bridge right into that eye socket. Now, I want to see you do that to something in combat. I gotta walk in front of Rocket, man. Is that... Yes! I'm about to win this bet, Quill! No, you're not. Here goes nothing. <laughs> We're inside a giant robot head. And I got robot parts inside my head. You have robot parts inside your head. Bam! <laughs> hey, Groot, what do you think I should do when I win this bet? <laughs> I mean with the units he'll owe me once I win. Found a nest. Maybe this is the Parasite Clubhouse. Don't congratulate him! Well, I know what I'll be doing with my winnings. I'm saving up for our next stop on Contraxia to get one of those Zeronian massages. Ugh, you're so predictable. I am so nervous right now. We gotta win this. Ah! Oh no! No, we can't take the giant robot home. And believe me, that's a painful sentence for me to say. <laughs> There's gotta be more of we- Oh my god, he's getting of all of it. Is there more over here? Where are you getting that? Where are you looking? You know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I Doesn't matter. Should count double from now on. That's cheating. All right, bumper goes there, Quill. No, give me a sec. There's got to be more of these thingies around here, and I'm going to get them all, and we're going to win. Because what the hell? I am not letting you win. Oh! Hey, Bumper ain't going to install itself. Eh, eh, eh. Keep whining, keep whining. How high up can we go? Ha! Oh, uh, look! I found some nests right over here! Damn it. Shut up! I'm supposed to have my back. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Are you cheating? Oh, that's it. I'm going in. Oh, uh, can we get up here? Hell yeah! I ain't installing anything until I get all of this. He's walking around too, though. Like, he's finding stuff. Hopefully not too many without me. God, I'm so... This is nerve-wracking. <laughs> I feel like I hear some more? Look at that squishy sound. Oh, oh jeez, oh jeez. I am so sorry, but it's okay, we're, we're alive. How was that not a climbable thing? You hear it, don't you? Ew, it sounds so slimy somewhere. Okay, maybe there's no more here. Maybe. Oh! In the lower places, maybe? Ew! Yeah, we can kind of hear them. Now we can't hear them. Okay, good. We are now allowed to move on. All right. <laughs> uh, where are you guys? Installing the thumper? Oh god, I have no idea where we are. I can hear your visor working. Better not be cheating on our bet, Quill. How can you hear that? Can the visor find the nests? If so... Hmm... Good thing to keep in mind. Alright. 
Thumper, where? Over here. Oh! <clears throat> Wonderful. Oh god, am I supposed to be able to make that jump normally? No nests? I don't think so. Okay. It's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Oh boy. Rocket! I only flipped the switch on and off to see if it started. Yeah, tell them that! Cluster Flark Bomb. Gotta love that kill radius. Ooh! Rocket, the loose cannon. A weapons expert who attacks from a distance. He focuses on damaging multiple targets at a time. Cluster Flark Bomb deals moderate damage to everything in the impact area. Sweet! Make like a tree! <laughs> at least they make a good flat! Okay, we should be trapping them. Wipe them out, Rocket! I knew I was missing all the fun last time! Not let the rodent put you to shame, Peter Quill! Trap them and then use the bomb. I we safe. Huh. Oh, come on! Now we gotta deal with junk slugs? Don't gawk at it! Shoot it! Very helpful, thanks! You're Rocket? Now stop distracting me! Lock and load, Rocket! Oh! Take this! Sounds like Rocket's having fun! Oh, my dear God. Sorry to burst your bubble! Woo! Yo! Put him in! Woo. Come on, guys. High damage range. If we get closer, if we get closer, does it do more damage? Because it says high damage range. Ow. Not a chance. I've gotten way more. Nice bladder rocket. I know, right? What was that worth? Five points? Oh, come what? on. What? You can't just give yourself points like that. That's called cheating. Ability points. Installing our thumpers. Great job. We'll meet you at the mining ship. Access Star Lords. Ability menus. Vantage point. Initiate a prolonged burn of his jet boots, rising to a tactically advantageous position to give orders or attack enemies. Well, I've only got one point. Yeah, I'm more of a tactician. Maybe not the best fighter. I'm the leader. Great. Now let's go. He says after you. Thanks, Groot. Thanks. You're so nice. You're so nice. All right. Mining rig is right there. Of course it's secure. As secure as a broke down Shatari uh, shipwreck's ever gonna be. I am Groot. That's cause you keep calling it gooey stuff. It's nano resin. Come on, Groot. We need to get across here. And Rocket wouldn't put you at risk, right? I am Groot. That's right. I've always got your back, bud. I am Groot. Nah, it just looks unstable like everything else in here. Don't get your twigs in a bundle. We can't let Rocket get ahead, he'll shoot the stuff. Yes! The resin can hold a stupid warship! <laughs> I'm telling you, it's totally safe. See? I'll even prove it. Huh? Stop! Do Don't! God damn it! Uh, Rocket? Oh, Flark. Guys, jump! Uh -huh. No! No! Oh! No! Oh, thank God. No, Groot! Groot! 
He's fine. Root! Buddy, you're okay! Fine. <laughs> you flarking piece of moldy driftwood, you could have died saving me! <laughs> I love you too, you selfless son of a truck. <laughs> Come on, Quill. He says I'll meet us at the mining ship. I don't want to make him wait. Does he actually understand Groot? Or is that all just bullshitting? That's it? We're not going after him? Who says it's fine? We'll meet him later. Team Rocket, is everything okay? The signal just went dark. Flark. His radio must have broke when he fell. Rocket knocked an old shipwreck off balance and we lost Groot. What? Is he hurt? I didn't do nothing. It fell on its own. And Groot's fine. Team Rocket out. I'm not gonna cover for him. Why'd you have to go and tell Green Team the accident's my fault? Cause it is your fault! Fruit's fine anyways. There's nothing to worry about. An accident rocket? Come on! What? That's all it was. It's your fault! If you hadn't fooled around on that ship... I did it. You don't know nothing. Stop trying to be smart. That sure didn't sound like an apology. Nope. I kind of get the sense that arguments are sort of the norm here, so I almost feel like even though normally I would be more diplomatic, I might want to be confrontational on purpose. Hard to believe all this destruction's because some ugly flarkin' bugs got uppity. It was a little more complex than that. Don't matter. We should have thrown everything at the bug homeworld and exterminated the flarkers. We did, but they surrendered. That don't change my opinion on the matter. I hear them. You can hear them. You sure I'm not winning? It feels like I should be winning. I mean, it's your tech doing the counting. I guess it could be defective. It's not defective. Sounds like I'm winning then. Where are you going, Quill? Just don't want to miss anything. You're looking for more of them suckers to pop up. Never. <laughs> no, don't go ahead. Oh, and all this got by hand, or by ship, technically. Maybe they retrofit their star blasters with no force gravitational shovels. Huh. Uh, yeah, that would work. Man, if that afterburner kicked on right now, we'd be toast. Let's hope it don't, because we have to find a way through this thing. Mining ships on the other side of that turbine, so we gotta find a way through. Try not to jump on anything this time. Groot's not there to grab you if you- Well, either shut up or help me figure out how these blades open. Hey, go in there. You wanna go in there? There's a drone access tunnel over here. Too bad we don't got a drone. We got a raccoon. <sighs> Can you squeeze in there? Knew it. Rocket, fix the thing. Rocket, clean up the mess. Rocket, crawl into the mystery hole. See anything? <laughs> yeah. A manual override. Team Rocket, we hit a snag. One of our temper points was covered in resin, so we're gonna fly around and scout another spot. Just make sure the new spot has closed the spot as the original one. Because of map Something we can scan behind that. Oh, thank you. Great job. Great. Another turbine. Yeah, that is how these things are usually built. Pew, pew. Someone's been practicing. Floor! It's stuck on something! I got it. I got it. Just looking around. Let's get out of here. I don't care about the monster, okay? I only care that I win this. <sighs> Alright. Hey, hey. What gets louder as it gets smaller? You? We're back on track. The mining ship ain't too far. Think Groot's already ahead of us? Maybe. Hope he didn't get distracted. I've been thinking about buying him a little- Oh, God! Grab, 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 grab. It wasn't me this time, I swear! Maybe we should stand still. Never keep moving. One for me! That point don't count before that! I'm gripping this thing with muscles I didn't even know I had! Oh, crap! Ah! Oh! Son of a! <laughs> I told you I saw them. Great timing! How did you guys- Good to see you two. But you're gonna want to cross the ship as fast as you can. Okay, we're going, we're going. We're seeing a lot of movement. Yeah, the scott's getting real 
violent out here. Uh, just try to hold her still for us. That's not gonna be an option soon. This position is untenable. Track says incoming. What's okay, 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 bam, bam, bam. No. And there we go. Well, just dies. <laughs> Jumped a little bit too early. Lord! God, I'm a slow runner. Ah! Keep running! Yeah. Stop barking around, man! Really? Well, this way! I'm coming! Team Rocket! Did you make it inside? Yeah. All in one piece. <sighs> Got it. Meet you in a tick. <sighs> No rush. Where am I? It's uh, nice and cold. Ah, crap. What? My visor went supernova. Is it broken? Uh, overloaded, sounds like. Must be some kind of residual energy in here. Residual. Oh, come on. <laughs> Flark and tensor joint. Just neat. Uh, wiggle the. Okay, so life support's booted back up. What's it look like out there? Holy mother of space blood. Mine. <laughs> Wait, what is it? What is it? Just man. Ew, whoa, 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 whoa. What is it? Uh oh no. Well, that's concerning. <gasps> whoa! Was that? Uh, it's a swarm of old cleaner bots. Maybe. Old cleaner bots. You don't know. <laughs> well, when did I put on my mask? What is that thing? I mean, that was the monster we were looking for, right? We're not gonna... Sorry about the shooting. Yeah, thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Saw! We saw some cleaner bots, <laughs> accidentally, at a distance. I am good. We're totally all right. It just ran away when it saw us, right, Quill? Ah. Uh... And I'm glad you're safe, too. Rocket, I'm not so sure that swarm thing was inoffensive. I feel kind of bad about releasing it. Quill took a pot shot at this massive worm nest. Chunk of something fell off and the big floaty creature came out of it. That's all. That's all? Hey, our scoreboard is gone. Did I win? There's so much dialogue that I feel like we have to, like, stand still to make sure it doesn't... What do you mean? Kind of mining ship. Get cut A off. Mining, mining ship. Cut rock, extract resources. Do you see any rock? Or mining equipment for that matter? Well, no. It's really hard though, because even if you're just standing still, they start talking again. But the cutting off is not bad. They finish sentences first, so that's pretty good. Stuff. Hey, Groot. How do you make a dead Shatari float? Take your foot off its head. 
Whoa. What, what's not to get? Here we go. I'm just gonna. Uh oh. Are we okay? The place seems like it's coming down a little bit. Okay. All right. How did you manage to get here, buddy? Here you go. Rendezvous coordinates are that way. But we'll have to find a way around the rubble. I'll try to find a side passage. Yeah, I jumped down here, but uh, oh, that was Green it anyway. Better be showing up soon. You didn't see them? They better not have left us in here by ourselves. I did tell them to leave, just in case. <laughs> Thank you, Groot. Look at this old beauty. I am Groot. A table. This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe I can fix up your gear. Hey, hand me that part. Workbench. With Rocket's help, you can craft perks. Each perk requires specific components to craft. And it's why we've been collecting stuff the whole time. We can craft rapid reload. On it. And finished. Oh, we have so many resources, we don't even... We can make all of this. Low life buff, firing rate doubled when health drops below 25%. Could be useful. Scan enemies during combat with a visor. Charge shot. Quickly pressing fire weapon twice charges a shot. Enemy drops. Yeah, get this one. And it's done. Puts me out of business for this one. Um... Scan enemies. And voila! Thank you. Charged shot. Additional move. You can use to deal stagger damage directly with your weapon. Double press and hold. Tactical scan. V. Time slows down while you're scanning an enemy. Awesome. Yeah, there's a way through. If we can clear out that crud. Okay, I got you. Got you. Nice. All right, try it out. Yeah, that's one stubborn bunch of blorf. Try that quick cooldown I installed, so you can keep pelting it. Come on, Quill. Put them pea shooters to good use, so we can squeeze in there. Oh yeah, nailed it. <clears throat> ah, and, uh, thanks for the upgrade. All right, let's squeeze our way out of here. So. Uh, what thing? I didn't see a thing. Uh, definitely don't want to talk about no thing. Guys, we can't run away. Perfectly safe, right? Uh, I don't trust your definition of safe. We're fine, we're fine. Uh, oh! It's a little wobbly. You guys hang back a sec. Uh, well, oh! Uh, this place is crawling uh! wobbly! Guys! What is it? What is it? Holy crap! This is the most punchable thing I've ever seen! Highly <laughs> vulnerable to melee attacks. <laughs> what? Oh, ew, 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 ew. Right in the face, thing. There's so many! There are so many. Missed out. That was amazing. Team Rocket. Finally. We couldn't hear you before. Something about the mining should have been messing up our comms. Yeah, something really ain't right in here. And Quill fell down another hole. Another one. I'm parking the Milano, but Drax is out there searching for you. Maybe you'll find Quill before we do. We're trying to catch up then. Guys, we really need to get better at the buddy system. She is not my buddy. I will find you, Peter Quill. Describe your surroundings. Uh, old metal, old mining equipment, just old. Noted. Okay, I, I hope you find me soon. <laughs> it's very old and compacted metal. Peter Quill, I have located some old equipment, but I do not see you. 
This whole place is old equipment. It's not there on my search. Interesting. So, wait, this door doesn't go anywhere? Oh, there's something here. You two have any luck? What the hell is this? Huh. I wonder if Rocket knows what this is. Okay. Collectible. It's a spinal control unit. Rocket might have something interesting to say about it back on the ship. Alright. Uh, should I just break the glass? A weird bunch of stuff to mine. What was it? I don't know. Weird cubey hunks of rock or metal. Hello? Oh god, oh my god. Oh, another freaky thing! How freaky? Kill it! You read my mind! How freaky. Shawlock, carapace provides significant damage resistance. Recommend sustained damage to stagger. Okay, so I wouldn't want to do charge shot. I just want to keep doing my little pea shots. Pea shooter shots. Oh my god, stagger bar. The stagger bar is below the health bar. Fill it completely and they'll be crippled momentarily. Is this guy even getting staggered at all? It doesn't seem like it. Okay, 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 Drax, come on. Destroy. Drax is a durable brawler, able to take on many enemies at once. He specializes in staggering enemies impervious to regular attacks. Destroy deals light damage and heavy stagger. Alright. Gotta keep going. Spider crab is down for good. You sure did. Save some for me. Not gonna be. Oh god! Wait, what was this one? What's five? I'm on my way. Oh! My turn! Okay, I guess it's not five for now. It is two! Gamora! Deadly strike! Chop him up. Never see it coming! Next time, get a thicker Die. shell! <laughs> Sweet! Gamora! Skilled assassin who swiftly eliminates targets. Quick, high damage attacks. Heavy damage to a single enemy. Sweet. Your greenies found Quill yet? Found and saved. Hey. Go on ahead then. We'll catch up. Just making a uh, pit stop. I parked the Milano near the last thumper spot. We'll head that way and keep an eye out for you. How's my baby? You can see for yourself if we can get back up there. Is that going to be a challenge? Locate. Gamora can cut certain I out of reach objects. There, but we're gonna need something for you two to climb up on. It is a wonder the nimble assassin has not abandoned us already. Drax. At least he called me nimble. Hold on, for some reason my mouse is showing in the. <laughs> my mouse is showing. It is a compliment. Give me one second. That's kind of bothering me. Can we cut that? I could make it up there, but we're gonna need something for you two to climb up on. It is a wonder the nimble assassin has not abandoned us already. Drax. At least he called me nimble. It was not intended as a compliment. <laughs> At least he didn't call you clumsy. If we can get this thing down, it should give us the extra height we need. Does that help? Gamora? All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It's a possibility. Maybe try something else. Try something else? But I mean, that looks... Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this. Oh. That is physically impossible. <laughs> Thank you, Drax. I didn't know that. Drax can lift the heavy object. Drax, think you can heft that container? Behold the might of a Katathian warrior! 
You can place it there. Understood. Oh wow. He just drops it like it's nothing. Remember this moment should you ever think of crossing me, assassin. I'll remember how slowly you move. <laughs> Alright, rocket. We're back on track. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh good for you. I am good. It ain't stealing if it's a bad Oh, flog. Rocket. Not now, Quill. What are you guys doing over there? Hold on, I see some loot over there. Can we get it without Ow? Drax, do you mind if I if we move that? Lift that thing up. Do not fall victim to indecision, Peter Quill. Can you move it over there? I am on my way. You're pretty fast, actually. Thanks so much. We couldn't have done it without all of the team here, you know? Gamora had to cut, Drax had to carry it around. All for this little thingy here. Alright. Let's get going, guys. Oh my god, this is a. Uh, Drax, this one's all you. Very long first look. <laughs> It'll look real good right here. Shall be done. Thank you very much. <sighs> kind sir. Alright, let's go. Rocket. Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague, it was rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen would reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. I disagree. Strength is endearing. My little Camaria and her mother Hovat were two <laughs> of the strongest people who ever lived. I bet it's something cute. Women dig the cute stuff, right? Yes. All women in the entire universe get weak in the knees when they see something fluffy. Lady Hellbender is an exceptional female. Oh she my god. <laughs> You've never seen a baby otter playing with its hands. I cannot refute this. A miracle! Whoa, there's no vowels in that person's name. After the Chitauri destroyed our outpost, we journeyed for 15 rotations to reach the healer. Every night was harder than the next as Jillum's breathing worsened. We could find nothing medically wrong with him. The Chitauri assault had damaged his mind and he was simply giving up. After he'd led us through so many battles, we weren't about to let him go out this way. We found his church aboard one of the converted mining ships. The line was long, but the excitement was palpable. Each time we advanced, we would hear screams of joy at the front of the crowd. When it was our turn, we approached this gold-skinned miracle worker. I do not have the proper vocabulary to describe him, but it is the closest we have ever been to Divinity. The healer pressed his hands against Jillum's forehead and whispered to him. Our friend's eyes widened, and he took a deep breath for the first time since he fell in battle. Oxo be praised, he was healed. Jillum has been distant on our return trip. We believe he is simply dealing with his near-death experience. We hope he will be himself once again soon. These people without vowels, this is probably some, some, I don't know, some world with a special race of people or whatever. This place, I don't know, just feels too quiet, like a church. Or a grave. The two are not mutually exclusive. They were just talking about churches in that note. Yeah, these bigger, these black ones, we gotta do the bigger shot. And for what? You know, I've seen these big mining ships before, but I don't remember ever seeing a Katathian starfighter in the war. Thanos ordered his invaders to raise most of our fleets and demolish our factories before we could respond. Surely you knew that. Actually, uh, I didn't. I had nothing to do with what happened to your people. Whoa! Careful! Rocket! Rocket! Well, you got some time and we got company! Great. Oh my god.
Rocket? We need to re oh my god. You're right. This isn't working. Mark, mark, mark. It's like we woke up the whole ship. Oh, everyone's Just gone. The huddle. When your huddle gauge is full, trigger the huddle with R. Actions you perform in battle build up the huddle ga gauge. Guys, huddle up! Oh! It feels like they're everywhere, laughing at us! And yet, we cannot retreat. No one wants to retreat, big guy, but I gotta say, it's flarkin' scary out there, Quill. Flarknard's on the field, danger on all sides. Then it's time we stand and face it and make sure they're nullified. Are we heroes to be laughed at? No! I'll laugh at them instead. Who's with me? Ultra's field! Can't must wait, wait to take him down! Let me in! Oh, that was a sweet huddle. Huddle succeeded. Huddles have three possible outcomes. You can get a damage boost, or only I could have gotten it if I had chosen wrong. But anyways, all the guardians are all resurrected. Oh, these guys are big and scary. You are a rousing leader, Peter Quill. Let's not go nuts. Guys, can you just like bind these people and then Rocket just do a whole bunch of shit and? Ah! This is more like it. I am obliged to the assassin. Watch where you swing that thing! Gotta wait for the overheating. I never did like balloons! Gross! I bombs everywhere! Ha! Ah! Whoa, it's very hard to pay attention to my weapon overheating and all Slash that, too. Any last words? Told you we could do this! Never had a doubt! I think you don't have that! Do to me, my We need more people to be doing stuff here. Right. This really gets the blood pumping. This is my kind of workout. Oh god, that guy's bumping Get into me. me. Guys, do Stop, something! Up, I'm on it! Payback time, Scott Stains! <laughs> Glorious! Bring on our monster! I am engorged with the thrum of battle. Didn't need to hear that. Come on, last bumper spot is this way. How do you know? My senses are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibrations. Really? No, I'm tracking it on my display. <laughs> Great job, guys. We have the whole team here. Milano should be right on the other side of this door. It was open when I came through here. Who says I tripped on something? Murder mom probably closed the door behind her. Excuse me? Murder mom. <laughs> Oh, you can hack. It looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. Watch a genius at work. You are a miracle worker, man. This tech was built by people who make holes in giant floating space rocks. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. Never been a problem for Quill. <laughs> man, this team. Thanks, guys. I would have been toast without you guys. Yeah, yeah. This is it. Last spot. I can't wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah, don't worry, sunshine. <laughs> sunshine. Ow! Is it, uh, doing it? What? It appears to be broken! Ain't nothing broke! That's the sound it's supposed to make! What sound? You can't hear that! Hear what? Oh. Why are you yelling, man? Oh, God. Our monster has arrived! I see it. Good. Oh, crap. The door we... That worked.
works. Let's catch our monster. Catch it, not kill it. Man, that gate's fast. Don't let it get behind you. It could be poisonous. Lady Hellbender will pay extra if it is poisonous. Wait, so I can't use my... I can't scan. We should have brought a net. A Katathian hunter needs no net. What should we do? We don't want to kill it. Should we just take away these things? I was expecting something bigger. It makes up for it in speed. There's nowhere left to hide, but it can still run. There's gotta be some way to slow it down. Some way to slow it down. Buy some time, crew. Well, that was easy. What the flark is that? Definitely not oh. a monster. <laughs> Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. <clears throat> I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state of the art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. What the? <laughs> Guys, seeing what I'm seeing? Yes. Yes. Now that is a monster. Oh, so it's not the llama after all. Akanti. All right. Enough with the warm up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. Oh. Whoa! What the hell's name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. Oh my god. Watch it! The whole place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here! Now! Curse these volatile ruins! Let's go! <gasps> Dude, it's killing it! Our monster! Hold on to your butts, people! Rocket, hit the music! On it! Focus on flying, Peter! Someone play this man a song! <laughs> now we're talking! Watch the ship! Oh, yeah, Watch beautiful music. Watching. You ain't! Drax, what are you doing? I am holding my buttocks, as Peter Cool instructed. <laughs> Someone give me a hand! <laughs> am I right? How about one upside the head? <laughs> We have debris incoming! Blow it away, Quill! Working on it! Time to thread the needle! Don't even think about it! Quickest way through is through! Peter! Do you fear dying with a guilty conscience, assassin? Don't you get goo on my shit! I see! Ah! Oh. That's it! Let me drive! You're gonna get us killed! No, Not I wanna drive! Yet. Do not be ridiculous. This place lacks the eternal frost of Sardou. Your hell is frozen? Hatathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt! <laughs> See? He's so... Groot says watch out! Yeah, thanks for the heads up! <gasps> Dude, there's mines you everywhere! The controls? No, I've got this! Clearly! Watch it! Don't get us killed, Quill. There's still so much stuff I want to steal. I've got it, I've got it. Quit whining. We ain't gonna make it. Hit the blue button! What blue button? The one for the secret posters I added! Can you please stop adding things while I'm asleep? Punch it, Peter! Now Punch it! Time for hand -hand combat. Oh! Oh, fuck yeah! Definitely a fan of the blue button! There's Scott on all sides. We ain't gonna make it! We'll make it! Maybe! We did it! There's the exit! See? Hold stretch! No last breath! 
Come on! Yeah! And that's what I call a win, people! How's that a win? Our monster just got eaten! Whatever you can fly away from... Means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. True. But hey, we're alive to see another day. Whoa! Please don't be Novacore, please don't be Novacore, please don't be Novacore. It is Novacore. Oh, we got captured! And there we go, Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, that was actually the entire first chapter of the game. I didn't want to stop it before we finished the first mission, but um, I guess we're getting a super long first look today. So far, my impressions are that it's a little bit overwhelming because there's a lot going on with the different people, different factions, and just we, even within our group, I'm not even sure of the full origins of everybody. But it's really fun. It's really fun. And I get the sense that this game will probably ride or die on its character interactions, which are actually fairly impressive right now. They seem pretty dynamic. And we have seen a few cases where it gets cut off, but even when that happens, it's pretty natural. It just seems like a change in conversation. They never cut off in the middle of a word. And especially our little maggot shooting competition with Rocket. I thought that was really intense, actually. Even though it's like, you know, meaningless in the long run, because Rocket's score was never just static. Sometimes he finds stuff that you wouldn't find, so it felt like... They felt like dynamic people that don't revolve around the main character. They're not just standing in one area on the ship waiting for the guy to come talk to him. You see Groot walking around and people are just doing their own thing, which I feel like is... Yeah, it's great. It's great. I love it. The game's also pretty graphically stunning. Yeah, the reflections on the ship windows and all that. Idols Montreal. I think they worked on the last Tomb Raider alongside Crystal Dynamics, so I'm not surprised to see that. And it kind of plays a little bit like Tomb Raider as well. Climbing on the cliffs and stuff, but very obviously its own thing with the whole like combo system and all that. Yeah. It's very clear that we have a very we have a gang of very strong personalities, and I think my favorite right now is probably. Drax. I love the way he talks. <laughs> and uh, let me know what you thought of this game. Would you like to see more? Because if you're down, then I'm down, because I found this really super fun and I would love to continue. I imagine it might be a little bit more jarring for people who are familiar with the movies, though, because these faces, all the characters' faces, don't look like the movies, right? So maybe there's a little bit of resistance there, but for me, absolutely no problem, because I have no familiarity with the movies anyway. Yeah, so feel free to let me know what you thought of the game so far. And with that said, this was a first look of Guardians of the Galaxy with the Wellens. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I will see you all in another place in another time. Bye!